Okay, we're going to have a look at little monkey apps, supertizing flashcards. Pretty bright, bright background, but you can change that if you wish. Uh, same features as uh, the other apps, the teacher um, notes, and of course a link to the website. So let's just have a little talk about supertizing first. Um, let's have a look at dice just to begin with. As an adult, we know straight away that that's two. That's supertizing. So in this game, you're asked to match the um, numeral um, to the dots. Nice little happy noise. So straight away, we don't actually count that. Um, we don't count the dots as an adult. As a child, um, you'd need to count those. Um, and there's a score up here you can see, so let's get it wrong. Okay, so it goes backwards one score. So supertizing. <coughs> excuse me. Um, supertizing. Uh, we don't count the dots. Um, you might even want to talk about that that's two and that's two. Um, so I would say that the first step in supertizing is uh, learning these. Um, obviously a nice little score going up there. Alright, so that's die. Um, and doubles is obviously, oh, pressed a button inadvertently, um, learning addition. So that would obviously come later on. Once you've mastered the die, you can go on to this kind of activity. And these are just flashcards to call out, no matching. Um, so if you were to talk about this, you'll see that they're um, not regular supertizing like a die. But you might talk about how do you um, how do you know that that's six? What's your brain doing? Um, encouraging metacognition, three and three. Or they might say, well, on die it's... One, two, three, one, two, three, so I can move them with my mind. Often it's interesting to see um, what the child will say. Three, how did you know that was three? Did you count them one, two, three? Did you know it was three straight away? Um, how can you check? Um, in this game, uh, swipe to change, double tap to see if you're correct. Um, no happy noises because this is a learning activity rather than. So three, double tap, you're right, next one, three, double tap, etc. Alright, so we've got flashcards, die doubles, we've done. Um, teacher tool, this is where the teacher or educator can make um, a supervising card. Four, how did you know that was four? Um, and then move them, oh that makes it easier to count. Um, of course you could make it a little bit more challenging and then say use your pencil um, well th I made it five this time three and two um, etc obviously you can re put them away you use counters um, or butterflies obviously and you can take a photo um, which is saved into your camera roll um, which is useful if you want to record a learning activity to be used by either an electronic sample book or um, in a portfolio. Uh, number match is similar to the die game before. This time we've got two, um, four, one, five. You might say, the child might say that they're moving that visually in their mind. This is a little bit more tricky. Some would argue that this isn't supertizing. Um, supertizing means that automatic um, recall, um, automatic knowledge without counting. So students shouldn't be encouraged to count um, four, six. How did you know that that part there was four? How did you know that, that part there was six? And then automatically knowing four and six is ten. Um, double tap doesn't work in this game situation, but um, otherwise it does. Um, and last of all, tens frames. Um, double tap. Double tap. So guess and check, guess and check, guess and check. Um, three, swipe to change. Three and three, four and four, etc. Um, don't forget to check out this, as I've mentioned. Um, it's got all of those activities there. And um, about the teacher tool. There's some Australian resources there about what supertizing is. Um, and uh, ways you can test for supervising. It's obviously for KS1 in the UK or PrEP1 and even to grade two. 
and don't forget you can change your background I like blue um, and all of the games so that's Little Monkey Apps Supertizing Flashcards <laughs>